Hey everybody, this is Alex Merced from alexmercedcoder.com and what I'm going to do today is show you how to use Code Sandbox to deploy to Vercel and Netlify. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new sandbox. So I'm going to yeah, just click on create a new sandbox. Let's create just a basic React um, thing. Okay, I'm not going to even bother changing it right now. Um, and again, when you use a template, it's going to create a f a your own fork. So I'm just going to call this uh, my code sandbox react. Okay. So that way, make sure it's your name, it's your own draft, whatnot. Um, if you saw my previous video on code sandbox, you just edit this like normal. You can edit the files, all that fun stuff. I'm not going to get into that right now. First thing you want to do is push it up to GitHub. So you should first connect your GitHub account to Code Sandbox, and then what you do here is you can actually move this over to the repository, create a repository, and link this to a repository by saying, let's say, uh, React Code Sandbox React. Okay, so that'll be the name of the repository. This will create a new repository. It doesn't. Sometimes it errors. And sometimes they'll error repeatedly. If that happens, fork your project and see if it works better on the fork. Sometimes just some project gets, just gets botched. But I do this. See, it's creating the repository. So, so far that looks like it's going fine. Sometimes you get an error like right over here. So that is successful. So see, now we have a linked sandbox. So if you wish to contribute back to, you can link the sandbox to the GitHub repository. This will allow you to create commits and open pull requests. So I want to link the sandbox so that way I can commit to it. Cool. So now let's try to change something. So let's say, um, hello world. Okay, so now it's saved. And let's say, so there it's cracking my changes. And then here I can describe my changes. And I want to commit it directly to the main branch. So I can just, please insert a summary. So, you know, minor change. Okay, and then there. And then that makes a commit to that repository. So that's how I connect. So I can really work on this, make commits as I go along. Um, so you can actually make commits straight from Code Sandbox, which is really, really cool. So you would want to do that like as soon as you start your project, as soon as you create your template, just do it from there. Now, if you want to deploy, once it's, you're ready to deploy, let's try deploying to both. So first, let's deploy the Vercel. I'll click Deploy, and yeah, I'm signed in, so Deploy Sandbox. And it's deployed, okay? So if I click here, open link in a new tab, this takes me to this page. It's building, so that's why we don't see the page yet. So I'll let that do its thing. Okay. And then I'll open this up just in case I need it. Okay, I already deployed it, so that's let's see if that's uh, I'll give that some time because again it's building the app and all that stuff. So now let's do it to Netlify. Then you just hit the other button. So see there it's built. It's there's all the updated details. Deploy your site your sandbox site to Netlify. Let's try that. Okay, oh, so that just did it right away. I didn't have to like even hit another thing. So see it's building. And then when one of those are done, we'll be able to see the final result. So theoretically, you could do everything from here in Code Sandbox. You can create the app, connect to your GitHub, and deploy the app to Vercel or an LFI all for one place. That is really cool. That is super, super cool. And then if you just want to work locally, you can always just download the file as a zip from here. And again, if it's in your GitHub, it's committed to your GitHub, then you can always clone it from your GitHub. Okay, these are still, oh, here we go. This one's done. So let's visit site. Page not found, looks like they found the broken link. So let's go back. Yep, so that's a broken deploy. So it's typically waiting for a minute two. Okay, so it seems like it's still building. 
I'm gonna head over to Netlify.com to see the status. Do 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 do. Okay. This is technically called. Okay, so see, it's doing the thing. And this deploy is called CSB for KWHL. Let's see if I can find that on here. CSB. Huh, I don't see it yet. So I'm assuming it's still doing its thing. This looks like it's still building as well. Let's go back over here. Oh, okay, so this is working now. So there's the Vercel version. So that is working. Okay, so it just took a little bit to build. This is still... Oh, now that one's working too. So there you go. Got both, they both got done building and now it's deployed on Vercel and React. Now I'm just cons the only thing is why can't I see this deploy on Netlify? Is it connected to my account? It should be. Let's go back. Let's refresh this. CS4B. Yeah, no, I don't see it. Yeah, I don't see it in my build history. Do I have another team by chance? No, I didn't create a new team. So what account did it build it to? Claim site. Let's see what that does. Ah, by adding code sample projects to your Netlify account, you'll get full control of your sites, customize. Okay, so you have to do this so that way um, you have control over it. So yeah, so add projects to Netlify dashboard. There we go, and there it is. Okie dokie. I'm going to delete this now because I don't need this project. Um, or maybe I should do something with it. Mm, nah, I got enough things I got to work with. So let's go to. Should be. Here we go. Delete the site. Yep. Delete that. Okay. And let's go to my Vercel account. So that's all great that it worked. But let's go back to this project. I don't want to delete this whole thing. Here we go, delete project. Yes, I want to delete it. And ta-da. Okay, so there you go. That's how you can push your code up to GitHub and uh, deploy and all that stuff all from here from Code Sandbox. Very cool. I'll see you guys later. Have a great day and enjoy. Again, keep out for errors. Errors that I've seen is one that it like you try to create the GitHub repository, it says like generate empty repository and actually literally creates an empty repository. Um, just fork. That was a solution I had for that one. Um, another one I've seen is you type in the name of a new GitHub repository, just never lets you, it says save your files. Again, I would fork and try it again. Uh, oftentimes it's just that particular sandbox just kind of broke. But if you fork the code, you should be fine. You can those things kind of get fixed in the new in the new sandbox so i will see you guys later have a great day and enjoy